Hi guys, today I'm starting a new series called Best Modern UI Apps and even though I'm a big Android fan, don't worry, those videos won't go anywhere. But lately I found myself drawn more and more to Windows as a tablet OS. And that's why I wanted to share my most favorite apps that I think are a must have on every Windows tablet. Like a good Twitter client, a good newsfeed reader, file explorer, YouTube app. And the first one I want to start with is Ready. So let's start with that. Okay, let's start with Ready, which is my most favorite Feedly newsfeed client right at the moment. Because as you will see, it has a lot of nice customization options, it's very user friendly and a lot more. So the first things, let's check the options here. If we go into the settings, the first thing you will see, you get four themes, which is, which is pretty nice. You get dark, light, gray and sepia. This is nice. You also get options like mark red on opening, confirmation for mark red, more next after rubber, and all the other stuff as you can see here. You can change the sort order, you can change the sync addings, the article view, favorite reading mode, everything is available. You can also change your account, you have a lot of different keyboard shortcuts, and the what's new for to see what's in the change log new. So let's check the customizability here. The first thing you have here is the tile size and this is pretty nice because you have large which gives you a pretty big preview of the article at first. Then you have medium which gives you a bit smaller one but still nice and then you have small. But that's not where it ends and that's the really good thing because you have an advanced mode which gives you complete customizability over the tile width and height. So as you can see here you can just change the height. And also, as you can see now with 350, you have three tiles, but a lot of blank space here. Just make it 425 and you see there's almost no margin. If you would change it to more, you have only two. But I think 425 is the sweet spot on landscape mode. And also the same here. As you can see here, the article is now cut off at this point. And if you, but if you change the height, you will get more content. So if you want to, see more content at glance so, so you know if you want to enter the article or not just change the tile height to something bigger and you can already see most of the article at, at once i think this is pretty handy but once we enter an article the next options we have here are mark as red you can set it as favorite here is the share button here are the readability options which i will get to a bit later and here's the windows button which gives you which which jumps right into the Internet Explorer Metro UI. So as you can see here now you have the article as it is using a desktop browser. This is nice, but now let's check the readability options. You have readability article, which we are in right now. Then you have readability, which gives you just the text, so you won't get distracted by any picture or anything else. You also get Instapaper, which I think is pretty well known by now, and the inline browser, which does pretty much the same as you would hit the button to jump into the modern UI Explorer. But let's check the readability options here for the article. You have more options here and this is pretty nice because you get six different font styles as you can see. You can change them. Pretty nice. I think this app is really customizable to fit everyone's needs. You can also change the font size. As you can see here, you can make it easier to read or if you want more content. Also pretty nice. You can also change the margins, make it smaller or make it bigger but I think this one is the more efficient one to the less margins you have you can also text align to make it justify then there are options to manage to feed and you can also buy the pro version if you want to and the good thing is you can also jump from article to article this is absolutely no problem you can also see all your feeds here you can close them or collapse them here right now you can change them anywhere you want so this is the app. You can you also have a live tile which shows you how many unread articles you have. So I think in overall this is a pretty nice app. I use it all the time, all the day. It gives me a lot of information if I want to because I can change the tile size, make it exactly as I want it to be. And I think this is the most customizable newsfeed reader I found definitely on Windows. And I would even have to say it's hard to find a better one even on Android or something like this. As I said, this is my most favorite feed reader right now let me know what you think of it and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up reshare this video and subscribe to my channel until next time bye